possible. Shark fin. Yeah. No, it's not shark fin. It's just like typical like not hardcore shark anime RPG is, shit. Why do you defend not ten... things you yeah. like? It's not like... Exactly. Uh, exactly. You need to be Switzerland. Every... Exactly, exactly. Like yeah. Everything is it's going down. It's like, oh, this is stabilizing. Like, how the fuck is this stabilizing? How is this not a shark fin? Anyway, uh, <laughs> that was much worse. If, you, if you're looking <laughs> for those of so you listening, listeners. it's just like the most shark fin shark fin yes, I've ever seen. Big- this is a no bullshit gaming show where we talk about games and their revenue in great detail, powered by our ad monetization game design, and user acquisition triple threat expertise. Welcome to the two and a half gamers, the unfiltered truth served with a side of giggles. Let's not forget this is a 4 a.m. conference discussion vibe, so let's not take it too seriously. Tune in now and stay two and a half steps ahead of the gaming industry. Whoop! <laughs> Here we go. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Two and a Half Gamers. My name is Matija Lancharic. I'm Felix Bromberg. And I'm Jakub Bremer. We are your hosts. <laughs> Matija, Matija, is it true that you cut your uh, you cut your finger for likes and clicks? Absolutely. <laughs> That's what I do. That's what I do. I get, I get six stitches. I get six stitches just for likes and, and shares. <laughs> Shit, baby. Fucking Shit. LinkedIn views are down. I need to fucking... Ooh, give me the knife. Yeah, yeah give me the knife. Uh, Katrina, please destroy the sink so I can I can fix it and then cut my, my finger. Yeah, so... But yeah, the, the horror story is uh, there were some budget cuts. Anyway, nobody cares. Uh, Jakub. Please walk us through your um, amazing segment of nobody cares about the games we discussed before. Everybody but fucking Everybody cares. cares, exactly. That's what I wanted to say. And everybody now we have a new cares. twist, right? Because uh, of Game Refinery, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so it's going to be a lot of fun. I hope so. Please make, so, it more, make it more fun. Yeah, definitely. So this will be Review Radar Also, number can I ask six. you one more time after like 10 or so thousands of times, please can you speak on the fucking mic and not like look like this and just <laughs> go elsewhere? You know, like you use your, yeah, you, I mean, you can give a blowjob to the mic if you want, but I don't care. But you always, you always look on your second monitor and then just go away from that. Always. It, it's it pissing here. me off so much. <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's crazy. <laughs> Okay, let me hide behind the mic so that they maybe I mean, this, look I mean, even better. You know, you know, you can you can use the, hold the it, arm you know? and you can just you know twist it a little bit, yeah. like that. You can just also do this, guys. No one cares. Come on, no I one do cares. Care. Come I on, we have the longest episode in the world. Yeah, Come on. let's go, let's go. Yep. So this time, what we're gonna do is we're not gonna talk about the game's performance and how they are kind of mm, trending, if they're upwards, downwards, whatever. But uh, as yeah, Felix mentioned, thanks to the guys from Game Refinery, we're also going to look at what's their update history and how they're kind of pushing the grind with the new updates and looking into those so we can get some actual kind of new stuff into this segment and let's see. That sounds like fun. Let's yeah. Go. yeah. Yeah. Tell us in the comments since like if like this is something you want or you want to utilize this. <laughs> or demand, or don't, demand yeah. what more things you like us to create. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly, like we got last time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. For me. Yeah. Yeah. Now, so... playtime retention, all of it. Now, <laughs> put it there. <laughs> well, let's we, actually like, we, like, we like this. Thank you very much. Yeah. You're amazing. Um... Keep subscribing. The YouTube channel grows like uh, wildfire. How meta is so, this? Thank you. He's showing a video of us. Yeah. Ooh, that's what Two and a half game reception. Oh. Uh, so on June 4th, we covered Match Factory. <clears throat> you see the mic? It was also in a very bad position. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we covered that. And uh, by the time we were talking about it, it was June 4th. It was doing something like uh, 430, yeah. around like, let's say 500k a day. And you can see here on the chart that it's still scaling up. Uh, regarding I've revenue, kind, kind of, of, kind of peaked. Like, 
week. Oh, <laughs> oof, pun intended. It's, it's Jesus, like August Christ. was like 17 million 400k, and now September is like 16 million like 800k. So, yeah, it kind of peaked. Uh, downloads wise, it seems that uh, it's kind of very stable. Like you can see here that it's still doing something like what, well, like I don't know, 70k a day. Uh, again, set as multiplayer here or there. So, yeah, definitely a major hit that's not really slowing down in big portfolio. And regarding what they're doing here, uh, you can see that there's a lot of fixes here. But from June that we covered it, there are some very interesting features that have been Can you make it there. smaller, please? I, yeah, I, uh, just it's wait, super wait big. Wait it's a second. really big. Wait a second. Zoom in. Zoom so, in. So there's a new feature that was actually added into the game. And the feature is actually Battle Pass, called Command Factory plus. Pass. Command That's Plus. Him. Yeah. So uh, we can go bigger we go. or we can't. <laughs> That's or fine. we can't. <laughs> Maybe if you, yeah, don't worry. It's fine. It's okay. Yeah. Anyway, so there's a Factory Pass added into the game, which is your typical kind of, you know, bread and butter monetization mechanic or retention mechanic, how oh, you yeah. want to call it. Uh, that's there. And then... Um, yeah, I don't think so. There's much other things added here in the screenshots. But yeah, that's a major feature that were added into the game. And then uh, if you look here on the other kind of major update here, it was August 12th, which added uh, Star Race event. Again, Ooh. very interesting one, which we can see here. So again, one of those like reinforcements events where like events on the left monetization on the right thing they continue that way and if we look at actually what's going to happen here yeah it's pretty much the same thing as we've seen with the whole kind of say games I'm, I'm, this. I'm just i'm just saying it now like for peak to reach new peaks they need rewarded <laughs> up open interstitial <laughs> <laughs> yeah you have it yeah so it, fox yeah, this is this is pretty nice that like yeah you can see like how how the game's faring. But yeah, it seems that they're really not stopping down and just moving forward. That's there. Um, yeah, so that was for Match Factory. Then on June tenth, we did Total Battle. Yes. By Score Warrior, which is the forex that uh, scaled itself after Sc what? Seven years. Yeah, seven years pretty much. Uh, seems also that uh, guys there has kind of peaked there uh, in May. We covered it in June, so we were kind of somewhere there, <laughs> right? At the peak with something like what, like 12 million or 13 million a month. Uh, currently, the game is doing something like uh, what, like 300? Oh, yeah, there is a, like a yeah, 400k a, a day, bit, so let's say. It's yeah, not yeah. bad. It's, it's yeah yeah like it, you can see it's kind of very stable. Uh, interesting part is if you look at the, actually the download side because download wise the game has this like giant spike. Yes, like sixty five k seventy k a day. There is a new creative that uh, the guys found as well. I'm in very close contact touch with them, and like, I mean I don't want to say more. Mm, okay, uh, and yeah, regarding the updates. There weren't really many, like, like biggest major feature, I think, that was added into the game was, what, like, December last year? Or I guess, mm. so, because there's just fixes. There's, like, one content update in April, which added uh, Seasonal Kingdom, which I guess is some recurring seasonal event, not any screenshots here or something, and then just fixes. So, yeah, I guess that's not really that big. And my guess is uh, that it's kind of live ops optimization and trying to kind of keep this giant scale that guys were able to kind of to on. But yeah, mm. great job here. This is, again, uh, this is the only game in the top 10 Forex that is not a Chinese game. Yeah, or it, an Asian it's, game. It's, it's nuts how much power UA has, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, if you ask a, a guy on the street or a girl, like, hey, what do you think has, like, in gaming, more, like, sway? product or user acquisition they will always say product it's just nuts huh yeah in mobile it is mobile mobiles run differently differently than pc yeah. or console um okay moving on star wars hunters oh jesus christ here we, we go, go. Wasted opportunity. <laughs> hello wasted opportunity 
So Star Wars Hunters, which looked, by the way, gorgeous and amazing regarding the gameplay itself and the game, uh, did exactly as we uh, predicted it would do a uh, nice little Ooh. shark fin. <laughs> Which I mean, it's just yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> like I guess three of them. Yeah, yeah. You can yeah, so it here. Rima, Rima, hold it. Rima, hold just it. yeah, hold, hold it, it, hold, hold it. it. <laughs> it's all. You have three shark fins there. You, you need to do the just the, just the small one. <laughs> Wait, I go X. <laughs> yeah. So oh, yeah, as God. expected, like this is pretty much dead on arrival. Same goal with the downloads, like. Yeah, yeah. They just How don't much care. do you think they spent on this game to make seven, it and market seven it? Euros. Oh, to make it. Oof. A lot. To make it and to uh, make market it. A lot. it. Uh, a lot. To market it like it's slow. It's three million downloads. Like, I'm gonna ask Matthias' favorite question: Is it profitable? Definitely <laughs> 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 not. I Absolutely. doubt it. Yes, every day, every week, every month. Just like the like, our friends. Uh, we can we can double check the thing here. So we covered it on June 13, and the spike here is what like August, August 1st. first. That's like the what? So the, the battle pass. Maybe just like battle pass. I don't yeah, see just new season. Here. I see. I think. And then the other spike is what? Same like thing. Seven, oh, no. mm. This is maybe this with some event. Could there be, is. Yeah. Could be there. event. Hunter Pilbrush arrives. New hunter. Blah blah blah. Six X- percent ad revenue. Yeah, you see legend, though, so, legendary you know. costumes in the in the pass. So yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 So yeah, like nothing really to like to to say anything here. Like we pretty much anticipated it. Yeah. Don't exactly beat the dead the horse. Thought. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yes, uh, move on. It, move on. Move on. Yeah. Um, woods, nuts, and bolts. <laughs> oh. This is a great image. <laughs> yeah. Great image. <laughs> So oh, we covered this intro. game on uh, June 17. By the way, we were so packed June, man. Like we I did know, like, I know. like five joint episodes. People uh, were on sh- holiday, not two and a half gamers. Yeah. Oof, we were in the trenches. Never Staying on the holiday. two and a half steps ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Woodnuts and Bolts, the original one, by the way, by Abbey Game Studio, because there's like seven clones. Currently, Don't, pretty big ones. There's more. There's yeah, more. Yeah, there's more, yes. but like seven major ones. Uh, regarding the downloads and revenue, so downloads wise is IP revenue. Uh, for Ooh. those that remember, this is mainly ad driven game, so this is not that not important, but it gives you the trend line. So it's actually scaling down pretty steadily. That's nuts because it's still like, what is, is that per day? <laughs> nuts and bolts. Oh, fucking, was it a pun episode or what? Like... Yeah. It's <sighs> nuts because it was 88% ad revenue driven, if you remember yeah. that. So, yeah. you know, like it's. Yeah, but downloads wise, it seems it's much more stable here. Like still doing like 100k downloads a day. So it's a lot. You, you have to do the country filter always. I mean, this says nothing. Yeah. Okay, this is better. Uh... Yeah, India is winning, but right after India, there's US. There's like still, yeah, okay, like 13k downloads from US daily, which is pretty good. Yeah, not bad, yeah, but still, like yeah. that says a lot about the revenue, I guess. Uh, as well. I wonder how they get fill on banners because with their refresh rate, they're looking at 90 banners per user in <laughs> India. That's hard to fill <laughs> the 88th impression. <laughs> but man, like they had a pretty good run, I guess, for the for the, like what they did there. So they have a lot of different games as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So like, I guess they're moving on. To something like greener pastures for them, so let's see. <laughs> pastures. Like adding the updates, like you can see that there's not that much kind of here. Like there's new feature here, which is what a special contest, which Ooh. I guess is some kind of leaderboard driven live stuff. Greta? Oh, absolutely. Maybe that's at least just one image, and then uh, was there. There's in August. There's like new event. New limited you know, social win streak event pirate quest. Wow. Okay, that looks nice. <laughs> so, okay, there we go. Ah, there Ooh. we go. Uh, the usual. One. I've seen this so many times. So, like this is yeah. This and, is the usual one. Yeah. Then explain if you've uh, seen it multiple yeah, so times. You have... I have no idea what I'm looking at. No, yeah, I don't so, even need to know. So these events like they're very common within casual games. So you have an like bunch of people bunched together. And on each step, they need to kind of beat the level, and a lot of them get eliminated, and only the best ones are, are the ones that, that win here, like the big prize reward. And the game wants you to kind of push to kind of keep going through these like special levels, because otherwise you don't get the reward. And most of the times, all these people like start with hundred players, those are like bots. 
to kind yeah, of, of give you give you the feeling and give you the rigged win rate so you can still win it yourself because it's not like you know top players or whatever something something so you will fail the challenge if you fail a level beat seven levels like in a in a streak mm. that that's it like the typical stuff so that's that's very good and i guess like bread and butter here with casual puzzle um thank you for an explanation no worries so yeah i guess as said guys are moving somewhere else can wait to cover their next week game um solo leveling arise mm. which we did actually without mati but uh, with mr vice president here what about Mr. Vice President? What? Mr. Oh, Vice President. Mr. Vice President. Mr. Vice President, Mr. Vice President John Wright. And, but I've uh, never been so out of place on an episode. Yeah, here. Yeah, you were just like... <laughs> I can at... see your face like, what the fuck are they talking about? <laughs> what the fuck's happening? Yeah. <laughs> so we did some... I was, like, I was like, you're not much, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to figure it out. <laughs> so we covered Solo Leveling Rise on June 24th. This is the big uh, Korean manhwa, not manga, uh, series. Like very, very popular. And it's still kind of going very strong. In the meantime, they already announced second season of the anime. Oh, and, thank uh, God. I was waiting for it so long. <laughs> I oh knew my it. Oh, God. Yes. <laughs> Finally. And, <laughs> and the game itself, uh, I would say it's kind of a stable, even though it's a downturn, definitely. Like if we go by monthly revenue, you can see that went from like 40 mil uh, in first. <laughs> <laughs> something like six mil. What? What? How, how is that even? How is that even possible? Shark fin. Yeah. No, it's not shark fin. It's just like typical like not hardcore shark, anime RPG this, shit. How Why do you defend fun? things you yeah. like? It's not like, exactly. Uh, it's like you need to be Switzerland. Time, Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Like everything is it's going down. It's like, oh, this is stabilizing. Like, how the fuck is this stabilizing? How is this not a shark fin? <laughs> Anyway, uh, <laughs> downloads look much worse if, you, if you're looking. <laughs> For those of so you listening, listeners. it's just like the most shark fin shark fin yes, I've ever this seen. This is the biggest shark fin in the history of gaming industry, and we are looking at it. But you know, the like, baby says it's like stabilizing. Most typical. <laughs> it's stabilizing. <laughs> stabilizing yeah, on the other side. Like give it, man, like if we go to Star Wars Hunters and you, you see their download shark fin, dude. Is there? It's shark fin. It's, yeah, it's, exactly it's exactly the same. It's exactly the same. Like it's just you just showed us like two this exact same Jakub, graphs. Jakub has never been wrong in his entire life. It's absolutely, it's so it, stubborn. It, if it's anime, absolutely, he's always right. right. Okay, always next. Right. Come on, come on. So yeah, finishing the thing. Game is actually getting like massive updates. I'm still actually playing it and trying to set the but score. No, you're the one. You're the one. <laughs> yeah, I'm, no, yeah. no, I'm, I'm trying to set the score actually with John, and I'm gonna do it in Moby Dictum. So Please do. We'll yes, of course. We'll, we'll level higher, but the uh, the stuff that they added here, like it's pretty substantial because I think some of the features are very interesting. They had this like hundred day celebration event. They added guilds into like this kind of loop which like Genshin or Honkai never did so this is kind of I guess very innovative uh, they literally added this kind of guild boss fight where you need to use nine characters at once which kind of never happened pretty much oh no anyway it, it's great like it's just yeah. not making enough I can money see the, I know I could see it in the data I could see it in the data <laughs> They implemented something and then it made uh, by the way, shark fin, not the shark fin. By the way, this game has a massive PC client, man. So keep that also in yes. mind. That like they're making shit. They, they all there. you have you know, like super, supermarket simulator mini game the, in the game. I don't know. That's <laughs> just like press button left to right. But yeah, this is the this is the boss fight, and uh, that, that you, looks cool. That yeah, yeah, cool. and you, and you actually have to like see you have like literally nine characters plus your main character in the fight, so there's like ten characters. So this is very good because again, what it does is it strains your collection, so you need now nine fully leveled characters, not just three in the main team that are. Playing. Yeah, so it doesn't make forty one million anymore. It just makes eleven. That's a, <laughs> that's a great. Yeah, that's <laughs> six. <laughs> Yeah, what let's an, right. what an improvement. Right, come on, let's uh, let's go Moving to the next on. one because it has no. ads. Moving on, uh, Chrome Valley ah. Customs. So we did the episode on July first. Um, it was a really really good one because I it think... was amazing. Mitri shared a lot of a lot yeah, of great exactly. stuff on the UA side. Uh, even though it's kind of going downwards, uh, so revenue yeah, wise, I mean, we we know why. Yeah, we know why, because there's big competition from Truckstar, which is from Century Games, really kind of trying to roll into the category. Same goes for downloads, just kind of, uh, you know, somewhere there. So, yeah. 
Would you say this is stabilizing as well? <laughs> <laughs> or is it a downtrend? Put, wait, can you quickly go to Truck Star? So I just want to see the difference and see if this Truck Star is stealing or if it's like everyone is kind of hurting. Ah, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Oh, let's go Truck Star. I think they are stealing. Uh, the, I think last time I saw them, they were definitely going higher. Oof. Oh, that sucks. So, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. stable yeah. going higher. Yeah, yeah. So already somewhere past like seventy k a day, IP only. Yeah, but uh, how much money is are the Chrome Valley Custom making? Chrome Valley Customs. Yeah. Um now, Revenue wise, like twenty five. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like one third of. I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can clearly see like what's what's happening. Yeah. Same. Same goes by the way for downloads. They're still going up. To like yeah, I saw. I saw some of the like the the creatives they're using. I mean. Pretty yeah. great. Yeah, pretty we'll, good. we'll get back to this game once it scales a little bit higher, definitely on the like yeah, uh, independent yeah, yeah. episode. Um, yeah, back to Chrome Valley Customs regarding the updates. I guess typical event stuff that's happening here, mm -hmm. or some kind of usual content with like I guess new cars or something, which is yeah, new cars and the usual kind of content <laughs> treadmill. Uh, last big event was in June, if I understand the new one, where it's like red white room. What? <laughs> Uh, 4th of July, of course. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, I guess, new seasonal stuff. <clears throat> so that's there. Moving on. Ha, this is a special. Yeah. Banana. <laughs> so, I'm so actually did... keen to hear about this. Yeah, Man, like... Uh, uh, let's, no, let's, it's, let's... There's nothing to hear about. Like, what? Or like... Just wait. <laughs> okay. So we did this on July 11th uh, with uh, JK on the pod. That was a very, very nice one because we, yeah, made some deep philosophical thoughts about like what can be done with this loop and how this can be engaged but like yeah nothing i guess came out of it yet or not a similar game has been done on steam uh, yet regarding the steam shards this is actually today and you can see that even today in top games banana is still on the third position right after counter strike and dota 2 which is probably still driven by bots because if you look at their curve it's literally spikes to something like 700k a day yeah so or, so what yeah like so what i've never seen this kind of a trend line whatever i can see, yeah i'm pretty sure you will see it in, in the hamster combat afterwards <laughs> yeah. like the bots trend line yeah, 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 yeah one so if we go to actually their updates like one of the la latest Tiny updates update. on september 22 is like just get this added new rarities and drop chances hello everyone we updated the drop pool to add two new rarities uncommon and epics the drop percent chances are as follows 54 percent normal 30% common, 10% uncommon, 4% rare, 2% epic, and now the cherry on the cake. <laughs> they didn't even say the percentage because yeah, the, the number would be so fucking so small. small yeah. They wouldn't include it. So 1 in 4 million ultra rare, 1 in 28 million <laughs> legendary. Subject and to change. Yeah, Good luck, bananas. <laughs> subject to change. <laughs> so I think this game takes the one with like the... <laughs> the biggest shittiest drop pool with like one in twenty eight million. It's it's amazing. We should <laughs> we should slap anime art with, on top of this, and it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I was checking the marketplace, and there are actually some bananas still, like this Ooh. whatever Lunana that is starting in one thousand six hundred, or nice. warm Nana, which is like <laughs> whatever. Like, does this even have any purchases? Ooh, uh, there is no price history. No, no price history. So I guess something no. is just either joking or... But I know Cryptic Nana I was selling, I think, before. Yeah, once. No. Yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah. yeah, this is like... Yeah, this thing is just jo a running joke that keeps on running. And and by the way, their Steam page, this is also interesting. Uh, do I have it here somewhere? Um, well, there's... Where is it? Here. Yeah. 45k reviews very positive yeah there you go people i guess money. they said the they like farm it. after the, after the review bot or something like i don't get this thing that's my vote <laughs> yeah people yeah. click make money it's very positive activity <laughs> what sure. are you talking about yeah what are you talking they make, about they make less money than the electricity they just burn on clicking <laughs> <laughs> anyway it's fine um Ooh. zenless on zero july 25th <laughs> So Zelens on Zero, the big game from Mihoyo, the guys that did Genshin and Honkai Star Rail. Uh, if you look at the chart, 
uh, there's the usual kind of setup that the guys are doing with their gacha system, which means every three weeks there's a you new man, character. You mentioned this. I know. I remember. Yeah, yeah. You also so, mentioned it's, it's going to be important to see if the spikes are growing or not. Which, yes. Which is the second one, but now... The last one is kind of shitty. But, Absolutely. Uh, shitty. Like, these three seems kind of stable-ish. Like, all spike to the same value, pretty much like 4 what, million what a day. What happened? Like, not really attractive... Uh, yeah, maybe this was this was like a male character, not a waifu. I don't know. Need to check. Yeah. Um, well, what do you mean you need to check? Like, are you not prepared for the episode? Uh, checking. Thanks to the game refinery, was time we had it there, so it saves time. <laughs> <laughs> so what is there? Yeah, unfortunately, as rank agent Caesar. Okay, this sounds like a yeah. Yeah, like a man. Yeah, right. like a husband, the character. Um. If you look, actually, I, I also rolled out the whole Mihoyo Mi portfolio okay, nice. here, and this is, uh, let's say, even more dire, because it seems that they're barely keeping with three games on the same level they were just having with Genshin before. Yeah. So if I take but, out Zenless look, Zero, you see how it goes. And if I take out Honkai, Genshin yes, is currently is... making like one-fifth of what it was doing last February. But isn't this like... I would say we we now saw a few games which are kind of like trending downwards. Isn't this just like, you know, a strategy to keep on the same level and just, you know, like add a new game so they don't fall out like from you mean the that cliff? Players would churn anyway exactly, and you just yeah, give them yeah, new, yeah, yes. new new food to eat in exactly. your, your yes, restaurant well, other yeah. than the other restaurant. Exactly. Yeah, yeah possibly. So, you know, like the thing is like we're talking about, oh, this is just like the same. But if they were, they didn't have these new two new games, maybe it would be just as low as the, the Genshin actually is, which yeah. would be way, way worse. Could be, could be. I don't know. Like I'm really looking forward to what they will do next because, yeah, as we were in China, we heard like uh, very wild rumors about like their new game that they're working on. And they don't really consider these games like the, let's say the, Hokkaido Star and Zenos Zero to be their major major stuff there. So Genshin is like pretty much on its level of its own. So we'll see. But yeah, we'll keep an eye on it. Uh, I guess it works kind of well for them in a way. I just don't know how much like the maintenance of the stakes compared to Genshin or Hokkaido mm. Star because those has like insane high like maintenance costs there. Mm. And yeah, don't know if this is kind of going break or yeah. Again, depends on how optimized it is. Yeah. Um, moving on, Stormgate, May Ooh. 13. So Ooh. this is uh, the team of uh, Frost Giant. That's like ex-Starcraft team. We got them on the podcast. Which we, we actually played even... together a game. Yeah, we played and the we game. Lost. And failed horribly, <laughs> as expected. Um, yeah, so unfortunately, the game didn't really fly that well in the early access setup of the game. Mm which was, uh, yeah, I think, uh, what was it, 30, um, August 14 was the early access release date. Uh, I yes. Think so. Yeah, yeah. So it's currently sitting in mixed with like 44% and say like around 50% on like all, all of our reviews. Steam charts are kind of dire because there's like from the initial peak of 4K mm. on the August 13, 14, it's sitting somewhere like, like yeah. 300 players per day. So I guess, Either people are waiting completely on like for new content now. Yeah, to say. get out of early access or like finish the game or like this is not really kind of taking off at all. So yeah, we'll... we don't really know with the Steam game, right? Yeah, we don't really know with the Steam game, but uh, based on the roadmap, I think the biggest thing that they have there up their sleeve was the editor, which would kind yes. of enable the battle battle.net kind of a functionality where people will be able to kind of create their own create stuff their own and kind stuff. of community help here. But yeah, we'll see because if I understood that was like by the end of this year. So, which is in two months, man. So yeah, who cares? It's yeah. almost there. Yeah, it's almost you there. Know? But like this doesn't seem like it's going to kind of fly up any, any soon. And I'm I'm not gonna like defend Tim, but he said like this is just like the very beginning for them, unless they run out of money. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see. Which could be the case. Uh, which, yeah, yeah you never know. You never know. It's never uh, know. it's tough. Yeah, it's very tough. Definitely, like, this is like super tough because people have Blizzard like expectation, and this is still oh, yes. like like a solid team, but compared to like the firing power of blizzard is like it's nowhere close near so. i would yeah yeah when we're, we're reading the the comments like oh make this like 
poly, more polished. It looks ugly. It's like, what do you mean? No, it looks ugly. Yeah, that, that's, uh, that's, that's what you get like, if you have like, yeah. uh, Blizzard like yeah, yeah, expectations. Yeah. It's normal. Okay, moving on. Idle Outpost, August 15. Oh, so hello, this was Mr. Felix. Very nice iteration. Oh, I thought you were naked, Jakub. Oh. Where? No, that's <laughs> like my, my Baldur's Gate t-shirt. Um, so... This is a combination of Legend of Mushroom with uh, Adventure, as we covered that. Um, 60% ads. Yeah, 60% ads. Uh, regarding the revenue itself, we covered it in August. And you're scaling down. And, and they're kind of scaling down. Like, I'd say, like, which is the I revenue. mean, I would say here it's stabilizing, right? Yeah, it's stabilizing. It's kind of, uh, kind of is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like usually, I think we have this kind of a podcast curse that the moment we cover yeah, a game, yeah, it goes yeah. down. <laughs> <laughs> have we covered a game yet that's scaling up? Yes, Match yes, Factory. Match Factory. Uh, Match Factory, yeah. Or White Out Survival. Or White Out Survival, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, everyone, we, like. The thing is, like, we always kind of it's just talk that, like, about it so early because we, we covered this as a new trend. And then, I mean... Yeah. Yeah, but a lot of that. times it's just like games don't make it. Like there's the brutality of the market. Like it's it's hard to kind of keep a game that's like growing for like a year or two years. Like yeah, you're gonna peak eventually. Unless you're king. Yeah, unless you're uh, king. Yeah. Um, or peak. But yeah, I think it's like this is pretty stable here. Yeah, yeah, pretty From stable. Last time we and I think it. you heard that they are working on a new feature they're gonna implement in the game. And then mm, start last scaling. Feature was like oh, yeah, yeah, I think yeah, that that was like some major features going to be implemented yes. at some point. That was the the answer for for us talking about the scaling down. Yeah, like why it's not scaling up. Yeah, yeah. so now like they are working on a feature that's going to be implemented in the game, which is going to change a lot apparently, and then it's going to scale again. Yeah, because there's no really big major updates here from like event from May, and still I don't see like feature feature kind of no new feature. So yeah, let's see. But yeah, very promising game, definitely. <clears throat> Looking forward how this With will the go. very promising creatives as well. Exactly. Uh, Squadbusters, round ah. two, because we did an update on it. Hey. So this was oh, August only two of us? 19. Oh, wait a second, because we actually played the game. Because ah. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't fucking play it on an emulator. Yes, uh, I played the game. I played yeah. the game. So revenue-wise, I would say... It's kind of a slowly declining, let's say. I mean, I mean what, what, what happened with the uh, ter- terminology? Stabilizing. It's stabilizing. Uh, it's, oh, no, no, this is not a shark fin. It's not a shark fin. Uh, this is a shark fin. Oh, oh really? Oh, oh, is exactly oh, the same? This one is the... a shark fin, and the other one is not. <laughs> yeah, oh, come on, come on. I, oh, wait, wait a second, I didn't say it's not a shark fin, it's all leveling regarding downloads. It is a shark fin. Oh, so now it's a shark fin. Revenue, I said, was stabilizing. Okay. <laughs> uh, going back to the revenue, uh, yeah, still doing something like what, like 300k a day or something like that. Yeah. But yeah, let's see. It's not millions. Um, Regarding the updates or what's been done in the game, yeah. so we covered it on the episode that there was this major update that it actually removed the consumables, all the yeah. keys, all the mega characters and stuff like that. It was August 14, literally like five days after we covered it, or five days before we covered before, it. Before, yeah. Yeah, and there was actually a new update and we can look into it. And actually, this is a good example like how Game Refinery uh, can save you time, which I really don't need to go play and like check it out where there's like shit ton of these screenshots they will just tell you so they are pretty much a uh, transformer collaboration event that's like yeah. one thing that they added they also added new modifier which is unicorn attacks and new gacha star chest this is the most unicorn important attacks one. I, I got into the into squad busters <laughs> hell yeah somehow hell yeah so if you look uh, yeah this is the event where they pretty much has like an event chest this is very similar to some like the usual asian games where you have like banner gacha that like rotates out which i guess at some point this will rotate out again maybe for spongebob which they did already with uh brawl stars mm-hmm. or some other ip um yeah you can see that you can get optimus prime from there and uh yeah this was i think the unicorn attack which, it's, by the way, it doesn't unicron. really look like it's unicron. unicron. <laughs> it's not unicron. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that, for that's, why I, that's why I started laughing because it's a unicron, but okay. <laughs> What's unicron, by the way? <laughs> it's from the the Transformers movie, not the... the, the oh, really? I the stopped watching part. those movies. Um, mm. 
need to need to watch those. Sure, uh, sure, sure, sure. It's like yeah, when, so when you meet the, when you meet your old friend, like we should get a coffee. Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. We'll yeah, I'll, I will call you. Yeah. <laughs> six, 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 I'll same. call you. Yeah, I will call you. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so there's a giant uh, Robo Mech in the game, which seems like a boss, like That's something a similar, like the like the Godzilla Unicron. Yeah. Um, there's again this new currency that you can use to take the chest. Yeah, this is important. So evolving characters now allows you to open star chests. This is a new core feature. This is not an event. Yeah. So what star chest does? It's you call it star tokens to unlock star chests. And as said, the star chest tokens are collected when you actually upgrade the characters. I think there was a graph somewhere, or there was not. Okay. Uh, so it's a little bit, I guess, a play on their meta progression, which is kind of missing. And I guess they're trying very hard to improve that currently, where open 10 chests for guaranteed ultra or better. So again, the usual kind of pity timer here where if you get these characters, I guess you get immediately the very strong ones, like three-star Greg, which is if I get in the baby, whatever, grown-up evolution is like third or fourth stage immediately. Um, and yeah, I guess there's a lot of these that you can get as a free rewards, and they were done with the update, because, yeah. again, that's there. But mm, didn't move I, the needle yet. Yeah, I also wanted to say that, that I don't think so. This will move the needle. Like there will need to be like six or seven of these like updates at this scale to kind of do something. I mean, look, it was impactful. possible for a brawl star, so why not for, yeah, yeah, for yeah. Squad Buster? It just takes time. Yeah, yeah, of Come course, on. it takes a lot of time. So we'll see. But yeah, we'll keep an eye down on it because I'm super curious how this will kind of go. You know, and it's, it's very, very enlightening how this kind of iteration process works. It's not yeah. really like. It's about the journey, not the end goal. Because if this kind of scales up, like Brawl Stars, yeah, it will be important to understand these small steps, small not steps, just like, like how, how they get, yeah, yeah, how they got they, there. there, yeah, not not just like okay, they increase their revenue tenfold. So what? And yeah. like, yeah. Uh, how did do, that happen? Do you know the learnings? You don't. Yeah, so you, yeah. you need to follow these small steps. Okay. Um, yeah, our favorite one, Lucky Defense. Yes, August twenty seven, which uh, we covered. And they're there. scaling like crazy now. Yeah, they're scaling After like the crazy. This is the game from uh, 11, 111%, the guys that did randomize, the expert guys in tower defense genre. And uh, yeah, everybody in China has a copy of it already. As did, they figure, did they figure out the ad placements? Like, did they listen to the episode and implement them? <laughs> yeah, the thing is, like, they, they're making 10% of ads of the 11. overall 11. Cheap, yeah. man. So there was this giant spike. Yes. That they did Event. here. With an, with an event, my guess is it's a new character because I saw that the, unfortunately there's not much here regarding the screenshot, just full moon event, new character update. It was so, in Sensor Tower when I was looking into it. Uh, and as, uh, like an image? Not that there was like an event uh, image as well, and I need to check it. I'm not sure if within I can... the update. I didn't do it here, one second. Talk about uh, the game, and I'm just gonna try to, to find. Yeah, because it. like I don't see it here in Sensor Tower, whereas there's like a you know on let's say August twenty, there's like I can go and see details, and you know see the update, whatever something Golden Lancelot skin. But yeah, nothing's here. But yeah, the game definitely went like completely crazy, doing like 500k a day from from that point on, which kind of correlates with the September 12th event, which is the full moon event. Uh, and I guess new character, which they didn't add for like very, very long time. So I guess people were like never. So I guess people were crazy. Hopefully the meta will shift there because it was pretty stale. So I'm going to really fix their ad placement so they can really <laughs> scale this game. <laughs> yeah, that's also there. Uh, but yeah, still they're doing very, very well. So I guess for their usual kind of like this is literally stable. This is can, stable, yeah. Yeah, yeah it is stable. Hold on the balance side and so if you go, uh, yeah, side. if you if you click on the August nineteen, you have there, yeah, this is the one, and you go to view details, mm -hmm. it gets you into the uh, into the timeline. And this, if you scroll up a little bit, then there's like an in-app event, which kind of, yeah, it's like twentieth of September. Twentieth, but I mean twelfth. We twelfth, okay. In that case, uh, nothing this is, is there. This is the one. That we need, but in up events, this one. 
Yeah, there's a, it, yeah, but it kind of uh, gets you f- to this uh, basically. There, mm-hmm. there was a new event, and I'm pretty sure I saw it, but it's not there anymore. Screenshot this one. I no, just said, no, I just, I just t- told you like I, I, there is an app event that was there. I'm pretty sure, but I couldn't, couldn't find it mm-hmm. now. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, but yeah, having a new character definitely like you see what it does with the revenue. So yeah, keep keep, yeah. On, keep, keep on with it. Uh, still new, still no clone on the horizon that's gonna take take this game on, especially on the western side. I guess it's too soon, but yeah, let's see. We'll keep an eye on so, that. So, uh, Mister, you can't read. I guess if you click on the 9th, 12th of September update, there it says new uh, rocket shoe is here. The new character update. Yeah, so I there. know that, but I yeah. want to see the screenshot. Is there a screenshot? Uh, in not in the center tower. Yeah. Okay. Not in even in game refinery. So we'll see. Yeah. Moving on. Last one, Office Cat. Yes. Woo! This Woo! is scaled like crazy, right? Yeah, so these it's guys are really not sleeping there. Uh, this was a very, very nice episode that we did actually with the uh, CPO. Uh, with, what, what? CPO, yeah. CPO. CPO, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which uh, Sock shared like literally chock full of data all of those and like very very um enlightening episode here uh the game is still scaling up uh doing something like what like 50 60k, 60K IP yeah. only uh a day yeah. which if we look at the download side is still doing like what like 40 50k downloads per day yeah. uh active user numbers are still kind of going up so they're retaining very well with something like 600k a day yeah it's on the weekend these numbers these numbers are still off right because remember he said in the episode that they were making about a million two yeah they were making double right and then it's it's because uh you said they are making 30 percent of on ads and 70 percent on iips no, I said 60%. And then basically he's like, no. And I was like, I don't think I'm wrong on the numbers. And then yeah. he's like, what are your IEP numbers? And then he's yes, like, oh, yeah, it's 100% was, more. Yeah, 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 yeah so the IEP yeah. was. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, this is still going like crazy. Uh, regarding the updates, I guess there's not that much kind of heavy features here. We covered on September 2nd. So last big events were, I guess, somewhere in June. Currently, there's like just no content updates per usual, which is yeah. like... I don't know. Change the company name from Blackpool to Pizza Cat. Okay. Uh, I guess some like fixes or stuff like there, but no, no major stuff there. So I guess like game is still kind of running on its treadmill as it can because yeah, it was kind of very good event to begin with. Like last major event was in June. The boss here, blah blah blah. Okay. But yeah, we'll see. No, no. Hmm? Remo, let's also do offline games. I want to see what's going on. <laughs> Offline games. Okay. Yeah, it's going to such so, a tower. So, so, so this is what the go... people want. This is what everyone wants, all of our listeners. So we want to eat our future and look into the future. What's there? Well, you, you started doing this with my uh, creative and trends. So, yes, fuck you. I started doing this because I saw a hey, whole hey, hey. Ad. Enough bickering <laughs> and more looking. Uh, yeah, that one is the key. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure like, why. Yeah. I'm kind of looking into the revenues. I mean, so downloads are continuing literally downhill. Yeah. But still. Uh, this is stabilizing, man. Like, it's absolutely stabilizing. <laughs> for, <laughs> for, it's, like, it's like a ferry, like a, fa- like a mer- no, it's called a co- roller coaster. But it's still 400k a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, yeah, that's know, the decline. Still, yeah, like, it's still. Uh, amazingly high. And this yes. is not important, really. Like, that's, that's still just... probably 100k a day in ads. Yeah, yeah, let me double check the active users. Still, still, yeah, still like, yeah, it was now nowhere. Eight million, <laughs> eight million Country? DAU countries. Country? Uh, yeah, I think yeah. the same graph, same graph. Same, yeah, it's the same. Same graph, it's same exactly also the same. probably with the download numbers. Yeah, same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. So this is a bo- bonus, bonus segment here. Bonus segment. Here. That's there. Okay. Uh, that's it for the radar volume six. I think, uh, nice. yeah, it's pretty nice to see like the updates in, in its like cadence and like you don't need to then like play 20 games and like keep up with them. Yes, so th- that's pretty nice. We're trying to utilize it more and see what we can kind of use it for. But also, yeah, that was yeah, it. thanks, uh, guys from Game Refinery, uh, mm-hmm. for, for the access. 
and the data. And sensor tower as well. So now we combine like two powerful tools. Yeah. Easy. Easy. Um, I mean, easier. Yeah. So a little bit of a teaser for the next one, because which will be super, super <laughs> interesting. interesting. Interesting, yes. So we stumbled upon something that probably nobody is talking about because yes. I, I, we who always brought, stumble, you, we you know always who, who, stumble you know on who, things. Who brought it up again? Can you tell me? Mate did, as always. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, yeah. I know so, you listened. So we're going to talk about the game that seems it's redefining a genre, but let's see. But It's, it's making... not a game, so I would say. But this is the game. Is it an app? It's the Superman. Key. It's not the game. <laughs> it's, a, it's a Superman. Is it a plane? Yeah, so definitely uh, this will be fun on Monday. We will see it. All right. Oh, yeah. And on yeah. that note, thank you so thank, much. And thank you very much. Evening. Have a good day. Well, I guess. Yeah, good, morning, good, whatever. Have a good day, evening. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see. And thanks for um, tuning in. Please subscribe. Leave us a comment if you like it or if you don't like it or if you need, need the data now. Please, please, <laughs> uh, please, do yeah, it. please. Yeah, <laughs> push, push the hype button. Push the hype button if you if you see it and then have it and join the Slack channel. We almost had two thousand people there and uh, the discussions are great. In the UA, especially, there's an admin channel, but it's very empty because Felix doesn't care. He's like, he's one of the admins, but he's like, just not, you know, doesn't care. So if, if anyone else want to just step in, let us know. It's fine. Uh, we are on the lookout for a new admin for, for ad monetization. <laughs> okay, enough of this bullshit. Fine. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming and see you next time. <laughs> bye bye. Ciao. <laughs>